There's rumors out there, guys, and I know Frank will love to talk about this, that the Penguins are looking at Mike Keenan as a potential replacement for Dan Bilesman as head coach. Keenan couldn't get a job in the NHL over the last couple of years, coached in Russia this year, and his Russian team took seven games but won the Continental Cup. Bill, is a guy like Mike Keenan, kind of how Scotty Bowman was when he coached the Penguins back in the early 90s, is this a good fit for this team at this time? Yes. I think that Mario Lemieux and the ownership group have got to find out what Ray Shiro has put together here. Because Ray hasn't been fair to himself with the people he's hired to coach. And you know that Keenan, when he comes there, he will... He, he will pick out uh, the bad apple, if there is a bad apple. And he will make sure that they either trade him or he has him and he tells him that he's going to have to play differently. He's done it everywhere he's gone. And that's why Brendan Shanahan ended up going to, to Hartford and uh, Chris Pronger came to St. Louis. He didn't want Shanny for whatever reason. He was a 50-goal scorer. Shanny was too bright. Shanny had too much to say, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know of any other reason, but he'll, 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 he'll straighten that team out very quickly. God help us all if Mike Keenan's the coach of the Penguins. If that's what you have to do, and is he going to get Stefan Mateau? Is he going to bring him out of retirement to play for him again? Mike, oh, no. Mike Keenan hasn't been in the league for how many years right now? And there was a story I think that, it's a quick fix. It's, that's, yeah, if that's what it is, term. it's a quick it's fix. It's a short-term clearing, clearing of, the, of the decks, and you'll find out who you got and whether you can win with it. Because I'll tell you, Keenan can win with it. Why, why would this be any different? If you want to go with Mike Keenan, why wouldn't you just go with Tortorella? It's the exact same madman. What's the difference? One guy... Oh, no, 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 please, Perry. And, and you've, you've interviewed them both, so you may know more about them than I, but uh, Keenan is not a madman. He's a mad... No, come on, Bill. He's a mad scientist. He goes in there with this kind of attitude. He's going he's gonna to bust up this team. He's going to put fear into the players. The team is not, a, he's bigger than the team. You, even, you, you said yourself it's a short-term fix. Why would you go? Well, I wouldn't, I, there would be no question in my mind, uh, in order that I may or may not lose this argument with you, that I would hire Tortorella ahead of Keenan, no matter how bad either one of them were. Keenan would be my guy because I would think that within a year and a half or two, now I'm not hiring to a five-year contract. I'd give him a three-year deal. But I think that, that is the answer to Pittsburgh's woes. They'll find out what they got. And you can't say, well, we got potential. We've got two of the best centermen in the game. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We've blown five Stanley Cups. You can't blow anymore. We've got to get at it. Let's get at it. Let Keenan have his two years of magic and see what he does. And I'll tell you this, in my humble estimation, he will win. He will win with that team. And they'll, they'll make changes because they'll have to. But he will win with them, with the core of that, uh, that skill group. He can win with them. I'm going to throw a name right out of the hat here that if it ever happens, I'll say I'm a genius. Mary Lemieux will coach the team. No. Oh, no. no. If, if Wayne Gretzky can coach. Oh, no, no. He is, oh. he is closer to that team. Can you imagine any of those players, would any of those players respect anybody more than Mary Lemieux? He is, he is so dialed into that team right now. Yeah. They'll listen to him. I don't think he's that type of guy. I, I'm not going to argue against his knowledge of the game. He's one of the greatest players that ever played. But I don't think he has the personality to be a good coach. All he's got to do is surround himself with good assistance. And it's really not to... He lets those guys put the systems in place, and he's the final answer to the puzzle. Just really yeah. dealing... He's a leader, a people person that just deals with the players on that level, lets the other guys do the X's and O's. But I really think in today's NHL, where everybody watches countless video, and there are no secrets, everybody knows what every team does, what their systems are, how they play the power play, how they play four on three, whatever. I think you do need a coach more so now than maybe the last five years or so because the game is so, there's so many eyes on the game. And I don't think a guy like Lemieux, great player, and even though he may have great assistance, you need, I don't know if you need a guy like Mike Keenan, but you do need a coach, a Mike Babcock type of guy, a guy that just gets it, a guy that can adjust on the fly, can put systems in place, 
can, can just deal with everything, dressing room. And I just don't think Lemieux is the, that kind of guy. Even if you surround him with great assistance, I just, I just think that is failure written all over it. I'm saying that's a name completely right out of the hat. No, if you want to go to Vegas with that, you'd get 100 to 1 on that because <laughs> no one would ever see that. But I'm saying if you're Mary Lou, you own this team, you've put so much time and money into this team, you're looking at the Sidney Crosby situation. And you're going to public relations there's too, maybe. So much, yeah. There's so much involved in that team right now. If I'm a guy like, I go for it because I'm saying, you know what? I couldn't do any worse if I want to go out and get Mike Keenan. Everyone's going to say, great. What's he done here? What's he done? He's won one Stanley well, Cup. But, but, but in, in, in all fairness, though, I mean, his last couple of seasons with Calgary, 07, 08, 08, 09, those teams won 42 and 46 games. Not exactly the greatest team. So well, they, they here did he okay. is. Let oh, we're, we're having, this is the reception calling us now. This is interesting. It says he's at the door. Frank's at the door right Let's now. Let's see. <laughs> let, let me see let what happens in. here. Let Frank in. No? Hello? Hello? Hi, it's Frank. Okay. <laughs> on the line? Great. Put him on. Okay. Thanks. So let, let me try this. Hello. Frank, how are you? Do I have to hit conference to get Bill back on? I've got Bill on hold now. So I was going to just hang on. Just give me one sec here, Frank. No problem, buddy. So, Bill, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. So we got Frank back on the line. So, Frank, while you were away, we were discussing the possibility. There are rumors out there that your good friend, Mike Keenan, could be hired as a coach for the Pen Pittsburgh Penguins. I heard that. Um, what, what do you think? And Mike, and Mike Keenan is a very dear friend of mine, and I'm, I'm proud to call him my friend. And I spent some time with him and got to know him, and he is just a great guy. He, he's, he's just a, a great man, and, and he's a proven coach. He's, he's got a Stanley Cup. Uh, and, you know, I did a great job with uh, the Chicago Blackhawks, did a great, great job with uh, the Rangers. So I think that that's true. And I think he's had enough of Europe. What do you think, Billy? Do you think well, he's had I enough? Think, I, 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 don't, I don't know. He said he likes to coach in Russia, but he went over there to reestablish himself as what you've just described, Frank. I, I think he's a good coach. I, he has maniacal tendencies, if you observe him that way. But I like him as a coach. And I, I said to uh, Perry and to Tony, if the Pittsburgh Penguins are going to find out what they have there in, in Steeltown, they better bring in somebody that's going to crack the whip. And he'll crack the whip, and he's got the tactic. He, he, he is a very bright hockey man. I, I, I like him. I, I like him as a person, too. I think he's a good guy. And, and you know, I, I've, I've spoken to him in detail. I, I talked to him about when he was in St. Louis, how tempestuous it was. And, uh, you, know, him, you know, Brett Hall basically got him fired. And when you're, when you're Brett Hall and you're that powerful, it's very easy to get, you know, the coach fired. And uh, I said to him, I remember in particular, uh, uh, there was a game and, and you could see that you and Brett Hall were fighting and he didn't agree with you, and he fired a puck right at you. Did he do that on purpose? He goes, I think so, but I blame myself because I'm the coach and I should have been much more uh, smarter and much more intelligent and much more perceptive and trying to understand my players rather than having that amount of uh, tension between us. So I was very impressed with that. Because if Brett Hall would have fired the puck up at me, I would have jumped over the boards and put a stick up his ass. I mean, is, is it possible, Bill, that maybe he's mellowed over the years too a bit? Good point, Tony. Yeah, I, I, I think he has. I, I think he may have uh, looked at the game a little differently, but it's his technique of... Uh, Playing the game the way he feels, you have to play in order to win. That impresses me, and that's what Pittsburgh needs. He's a very talented. He's a very talented uh, coach. The old Mike Cannon is a two-year, three-year man, three-year at the most, and then the team stops. Yeah, you know? and that's all Pittsburgh needs, Frank. That was our point. They have to find out in the next two years whether they're going to piss away another five years from the standpoint of uh, losing uh, Stanley Cups when they might have won them.